Hello! It is Tom Grazer back for another CSA unboxing video. This is our 17th of the season. We've missed a couple, but that's not important because we're here right now. Uh, I had a guest lined up to uh, help me out today, but uh, he slash she um, bailed on me, so I'm here alone. Uh, I'm not really alone because I know you guys are watching, but um, yeah, but I'm alone. So, um, well, I went down to the farmer's market this morning and it was cold. It was cold. It was the first cold uh, day of the year, I think. And um, my hands were cold, so I had one in my pocket all the time and I never took it out and I didn't take any pictures. But you know the drill. There was a green board and um, lots of bins of vegetables. Let's take a look at some of the food that we cooked that included vegetables. So we've been taking the corn off the cob before we eat it. And here are some pierogies that I mixed up with broccoli and dried cranberries. Well, that was quick. <laughs> I got to remember to take more pictures if that's going to be a part of this thing. As we wind down the season, we do not have much longer to go. I meant to check to see how many more weeks, but I think it may be just like one or two more. Anyway. Let's take a look at some of the vegetables we got down at the, at all of the vegetables we got down at the farmer's market today. Number one, I pulled this thing. This is huge. And I would call this lettuce, but it had a sign on it that, I mean, it's lettuce, right? That's lettuce. But it, but the, the sign on it said espadrille? No, espadrille's not right. Escarole? Epaulets? I don't know what it was, but it's some kind of lettuce, and it's just huge. That's a giant, giant head of lettuce. I, w I watched a, uh, I watched a comedian uh, the last couple of days who has a whole routine around trying to figure out how to say lactose intolerant. He, ne he never gets it right. Um, you know, and that reminds me that I used to read a lot of uh, this uh, writer named Ring Lardner. You may have heard of him, and he has a whole thing about how he could not remember. Uh, the name of the place, uh, Perth Amboy. Anyway, um, we got our weekly kale. Uh, talked with the kale eater uh, this week. This is the curly kale. The kale that we had last week has another name, which I cannot remember. But this is the curly kale. And it's a little more hearty. Stands up to um, being out before you cook it longer. Um, also, one pound of beets, which... Uh, gets used up pretty quickly in this house even though uh, only one person eats them and it's not me but beets are there um, and here's a vegetable that I like that I will eat uh, at a good pace and that is the Brussels sprout which is another funny name to, to say because a lot of people say Brussels sprouts but it's Brussels sprouts there's two S's that run up against each other and two L's too but there's the Brussels sprouts. Put that over there. Maybe cook those on the grill. I'm out of charcoal, which is kind of a dilemma. Uh, I was at a store this morning and, and the, that usually has charcoal and they did not have any. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Go to another store, I suppose. I've never, I, I should put um, charcoal on my Amazon subscription thing that comes that I get my other stuff with. Um, <laughs> parsnip. This is a parsnip, uh, which I know will be appreciated. If it's not a parsnip, it's a turnip, but it's a parsnip. Yeah, the turnips are the round ones. This is a parsnip. Um, broccoli, one pound of broccoli. Um, I cooked up uh, the broccoli from last week in a couple of stir fries, which I really like because, um, you know, sometimes I steam broccoli and when I steam it, sometimes it goes too far and it just gets mushy, which I don't like so much. I mean, I'll eat it. Um, but when you stir fry it, it's, I don't cook it enough, which is just how I like it. So it's crunchy. Um, working around a big thing in here, but here is some eggplants. And um, we've been getting eggplants from another source. Uh, my wife somehow got a whole bunch of eggplants and she makes baba ganoush with it. And, um, and so I'm sure she'll do that again. Everybody likes eggplants. 
I would assume. And last but not least, this great big squash that um, I think I'm going to take this squash and I'm going to try the idea of cutting the top off it and roasting a chicken or baking a chicken inside this squash. We'll see if that turns out. And if it does, I'll certainly take some pictures of that. And so um, that's what we have from this week at the uh, CSA. I'm uh, glad uh, you had a chance to take a look at that and come back next week with, oh, you made it. <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> oh. You're too late. Oh, oh, and now you're here. Okay. So we <laughs> come back next week and we will have uh, more vegetables from the Canton Farmers Market, Canton Family Growers, in our weekly CSA unboxing video.